Hey, it's me, it's Matt. It's uh, Matthew. My name is Matthew, and they didn't announce a new Prince of Persia. Ubisoft didn't. So I'm playing old Prince of Persia's in Rage. Uh, I already did a couple of videos on uh, Warrior Within, which would be the perfect game to Rage to. Uh, but instead, I have opted to go with The Two Thrones, with because there's a lot to talk about on this one. So we're taking Maddie Fatty. There you go. So yeah, uh, The Two Thrones. If you guys have seen my uh, Mass Palace of Persia, I talk about this one in great length. But uh, I, I enjoy playing it. Uh, for the most part, especially the first hour and a half, uh, which is perfect, um, because once you start being the Dark Prince, it's, it's not. It's, it, uh, we'll 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 talk about it when we get to it. All right, so nice load screen. It's not splattered with blood and it has like fucking metal thongs and shit. We all make mistakes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Some are small. Some are long. Yeah, like the stadia. But his mistake, born of innocence. Fueled by pride. Cocky little the shit. And most terrible of them all. But this is not how it happened. I love that. No, the, the ending the most commonly uh, achieved in Warrior Within didn't and happen. So he set me free. It's the harder to and achieve to ending, which is canon. I don't know. What else were they supposed to do? That's a fine explanation. Prince. Of all the possible futures, this one held the most promise. Can't afford Monica so Bellucci anymore. Do not worry, Kylina. No harm will come to you in Babylon. I promise. Nothing ever bad happens Look, in Babylon. Oh shit! Something bad's happened in Babylon. You know, it's not great. It's not great. After a really long voyage, you hate to see your crib wrecked. Watch out the thingamajig! I think that's what those are called. Maybe I should have rewound time a, a little bit. It's very nice looking FMV, especially for the time though. CGI. I don't know why I say FMV all the time. It's a, it's a, I'm trying to work on it. You know, a very nice opening to, to set the tone. Um, so I'll, I'll talk about what version I am playing here. In the harbor, the prince found himself in a city quite different from the one he left behind. The normally busy wharves were now decimated. Blood spattered awnings and splintered door frames were all that waited to greet him. And the people, merchants, beggars, fishermen, were nowhere to be found. <laughs> Others have taken their place. But there's lots of raw uh, fighting energy everywhere. Now she has a weird hat that she didn't have in the CGI animation. Uh, which shows a bit of a disconnect between when the CGI was made versus when her character model was designed, Let of course. They, they're the dude, they're like half a mile away. Let her go, says Yuri Lowenthal. So, um, I had a lot of people ask me about this, uh, you know, every so often I talk or play a, a Prince of Persia game, like, where's the best place to play these games? Uh, especially the Sands of Time trilogy, but generally everywhere, it's Steam. Uh, the Steam versions of these games, they run at high res, they're controller compatible, I had no problems getting this to work on Windows 10, and this game is from 2004, right? Um, if you only have consoles, I guess the only other place to play Sands of Time in a really good uh, version is the uh, playing it on the Xbox One. There's a backwards compatible version of that that runs at really high res, although not widescreen. But uh, Steam is the one I'd recommend. Um, I'm really amazed that these versions are, are as good as they are, essentially. Uh, no more being around the bush. They really tried to run back a lot of everything of Warrior Within uh, because a lot of long series uh, uh, fans were kind of like, I'm not liking this. Now, I know lots of people still are like, oh, Warrior Within is really awesome. I, You know, I'm not going to dispute that anymore. The last time I played that on the channel, I, I did have fun, but I had more fun now than I certainly did back then because I still prefer, you know, how uh, the Sands of Time and even this one. But the problem with this game, a problem with this game is that 
it now then started to not to appease to either groups, those that like your edgy, violent games and those that like, you know, like like more Everywhere there are adventure-y games. But what of Babylon's guard? Where have they all gone? They're all dead, dude. Um, so it, it kind of, they, they try to appeal to both and you can kind of wound up appealing to neither, at, at least in my view. I'm not sure how many people like agree with that, but... Um, there's definite improvements to this game. There's there's some maybe steps back as well uh, from from Warrior Within and Sands of Time. Um, I will say that like all three games are pretty distinct. Like you'll get something new out of uh, out of each one. Like each one has its own stuff. Like Warrior Within introduced a bunch of stuff, and so does this one, essentially. Um, not all of it. Not all of it works out super well, but that's fine. You know, they're charming that way. Nice. That's what I wanted. And we're gonna have to talk about it eventually as well. But like, yeah, no, no new Prince of Persia announced at Ubisoft's press conference. Yeah, they're gonna have another one. They're fucking essentially kidnapping me to go listen to another one of those. Um, they have the license for Prince of Persia. They did that DLC for um, that game that I don't play anymore. Um, for Honor. So they're doing that. Uh, they have their weird escape room that nobody has ever used ever. Continue my story for yes, me. continue the story, girl. I will continue my story. Yeah, I know. Save it. It's delicious water. Anyway, so yeah. Um, do, do I think it still could be in the works? I think there's still a chance. I was really disappointed there was nothing Ubisoft's press conference. I was I was I was kind of shattered. I was like, "Come on, man. There's been like a lot of heavy rumors that they're doing a Sands of Time remake. I would be completely fine with that. Honestly, I'd be fine with anything." Why is it that every time disaster strikes, I find myself without a proper blade? Still, it's better than nothing. It is nothing. So one thing they did add to this game is kind of stealth takedowns. I'm assuming a little Sam Fisher in there, you know? All right, I have to figure out my buttons a little here because to initiate those, it's like to press Y and then uh, X to uh, further attack because X is just your, your random slashy-washy and uh, Y is to initiate um, those takedowns as well as speed kills, which is one of those features I, I kind of do actually like. You know, with the Prince's garb and stealth and speed kills, a lot of Assassin's Creed in this bitch, you know what I'm saying? I think it's the same animation for for per enemy type. I might be wrong on that. Usually am, but I think you'll get different ones based on uh, different enemies and how many enemies there are. The animations get more elaborate, and again, you can really see some Assassin's Creed in there, can't you? And you do have the kind of two weapon system from uh, Warrior Within, so they kept that, which is cool, because that, you know, that was a good thing, actually. Now, you know what? I'm not that keen on this prince's design, uh, th this base one. I actually think the white garb was a real surface-level way to let people know. It's like, eh, it's not like the last one. He's wearing white. Look, he's, he's got to be good. Um, but it's essentially, as we go on, much like uh, the Sands of Time, his outfit will change. And I actually like some of the later changes. I kind of like the way he looks uh, from then on out. Is this guy gonna move? I think he sniffed me. I don't think I've bathed in a while, so I'm quite a stinky prince. Hey, so this is the other time I'll talk about um, that uh, episode of Palace of Persia where Prince of Persia 3, essentially what it was called, or Kindred Blades, um, was going to be more of an open world-ish game. Probably not fully open world, but you'd be, like you see everything that we can go, uh, see here. You're, like, I think the if, original idea was to be able to like go through large districts of Babylon and kind of make your own path, almost like an Assassin's Creed. And they kind of chopped that out the last second, like, no, no, let's make it linear again. Um, which is probably the best for the game. I, I, I don't think it, I think it would, they would have maybe botched that, like trying to get that to, because that's really ambitious, to get that to run 
um, when they essentially this game this came out only a year year and a half after Warrior Within, so very very ambitious that uh, might not have been able to pull it off. So j just stick with this for now. But you know I I, I kind of prefer my my Prince of Persia being more uh, linear certainly. So I forgot about that feature. If you get in your birds and enemies are looking at you, I think the birds actually kind of alert them. And this guy's just staring out that wall. I don't know what he's seeing. And I do really like the way the QTEs are presented here with just a flash of light and you know, it doesn't need a big button press or or whatever. You kind of learn how it goes uh, from that very first tutorial and it stays the same. These shafts of light look very, very nice. I think this game, it more so than the others, holds up visually quite well. I don't know what it is. It's just there's just something about it. Maybe it's because the architecture of Babylon. I I don't know. But uh, I of the three, I think it's the best looking one. Uh, and it's not my favorite prince's design, like I said. But there's something about it. I don't know. But uh, playing this again, I always kind of go. Even Warrior Thin, I was kind of like, hmm. Kind of feel like playing these again, but. You know, I was saying earlier that I would I would like anything. I'd like Ubisoft to do anything aside from a physical escape room that's only in Europe and DLC, like not even great DLC for that game that they do, For Honor. Um, I really would like something else. So one of those things I would like that something else would be essentially, you know, a Prince of Persia collection. Maybe just the Sands of Time games. I'd be totally fine with that. Just so everyone can play them again on any console, not just have them spread all around versus a terrible HD edition on the PS3, which we played last time, and just one port of, not even a port, but just a backwards compatible version of, of Sands of Time. You know, all three. Maybe, th fuck it, throw uh, Forgotten Sands in there too. Everyone forgot about it. Fucking put the Wii version in there with like modern controls. That'd be so cool. Hell, put the P the awesome PSP version. I talked about it on Palace of Persia. Look, if people don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, look up Forgotten Sands for the PSP. It's an incredible 2.5D Prince of Persia game that's like unknown to most people. It was a really unique version. God damn. You put that out there. And it runs well, and it like it doesn't have some egregious fucking bugs or something. Ubisoft, I I'd be happy with that. I I don't even like you don't even need to give me a new game. You really don't. Yeah, I love that. I love that. That's good stuff. I can do that in real life. I just choose not to, you know. So I like this bit of environmental storytelling. Uh, clearly over here, a uh, ball. Iron flaming anger ball was shot through and blasted open this uh, hole in the wall, which actually leads us further into the palace. And you go back to these games, the entire Sands of Time trilogy, and essentially all of them, but Sands of Time, I think, uh, uh, all three games, uh, yeah, even Warrior Within, they all hold up extremely well in terms of just playability, in terms of how the character moves, feels when he's jumping around. Again, it's a thing that I don't think many other games were able to emulate very well after this point. It's why I keep coming back to this franchise, and I never shut the fuck up about it. Dude, follow me. Check me. Ch check this out. If you just give me a second, I can show you a thing. There you go. See? It only took a second. All right, so we're getting kind of close to, you know, a big pivotal story point in the game. Just looking around a little bit, trying to, trying to figure out my moves. So over here, here's a little cool sitting area. No Leon moment from RE4, I guess, but all right, I think we're setting up. We're setting up for the big spot, the spot of the vid uh, video, uh, dual kills again. Very Assassin's Creed. Look at that! Who would say no to that? Recklessly, the prince drew his weapon and charged forward, intending to rescue me. Because he's an idiot. It was as if he had learned <laughs> nothing from his past <laughs> adventures. I believe I have something of yours. Oh, no! No, it's my girl, my time foo. 
It's like time and waifu. Whatever, it's not all gonna be gold. So cre she creates the time shock, right? And the time shock kind of makes sense of time. Goes into that barbed whip, and it kind of goes into the prince's arm, as you can see. He does that because he thinks that's a great idea. He's like a Resident Evil boss villain. I'll just become this. It's fine. It's actually a lot like Nosferatu, the boss in, in Code Veronica. I really need that dagger. Really, really need it. Whoa. Are you winning, son? You have gained. The recall. Recall, recall, recall. Look at this camera shot. Yeah, that's just a big JPEG. Still kind of cool though. God damn it, with the traps. The entire world's falling apart due to time wave. You guys with the fucking traps. Look at this fucking edgelord shit. A lot of Warrior Within reference in that one arm. It's all cut up, has glowing fucking metal shreds in it. Ah. <laughs> what an idiot! You is gone, so you will have to find another exit from these sewers. Be quick about it. Start moving. So, real missed opportunity. Yeah, 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 who's there? Real missed opportunity that the Dark Prince is not voiced by Robin Atkin Downs, who did the voice of the Prince in Warrior Thane. Ah, oh, that would have been awesome! Alright, here we go! It's time for the fucking show! Violent Prince. So, uh, the Breeze of Anguish, of course, is before, before, before. Call it what you do. And you essentially have the Chains of Olympus. Uh, not as good as the Chains of Olympus by any sort of stretch of the imagination. Now, the thing with the Dark Prince, and that I would advise against doing this in future game design, is that his strength is constantly depleting my life. You can't mess around as the Dark Prince. You have to constantly be moving, killing enemies, and, and progressing. If you want to fuck around and look at stuff, that's a bad time, because you're just, you're just literally going to die. I don't know why they chose to do this. I, I, I maybe, maybe make the, the health generation slower. It's pretty slow as is, but... You can grab on with chains, you can do stuff like that. Um, and and this is usually whenever I start up the two thrones, I'm kind of, While corrupted, the prince's health constantly decreases. Nice! Call him chain attack. So let's do that. No, that's just... You do this! Yeah! So there's these fun, dumb, neat little things that they let you do. But I'm fucking dying, man! I fucked around too much because I'm playing a video game on the YouTubes for big views. So you constantly have to be killing guys. Uh, that releases a little bit of sand power. Um, I, I, I would imagine most people would like a feature like this. It'd be cool if you could like turn it off. I know they have to have some type of drawback, I guess. When 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 doing a game like this and having some powered up form. I, 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 do you really need a drawback, though? Isn't the corruption of your soul the drawback? I'm just saying. Um, I think I'm, I'm happy with Prince of Persia, the Two Thrones, today. Let me know in the comments if you'd like me to, to play a bit more. I honestly wouldn't mind. Uh, there's some dumb boss fights. Certainly the best boss fights of the Sands of Time trilogy. Uh, b better than the, you know, zero boss fights, basically, in Sands of Time, and certainly better than the ones in Warrior Within. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm enjoying this overall, but this is, this is the part where I'm kind of like, ah, uh, yeah, this, they did this part. I, I don't know how I feel about this part still, to this day. But, uh, let me know, and I'll see if I can resume my story next time.